So if you like walking the trails of Barge Pond, but you want a more private walk or a quieter walk, or want to experience a few less dogs, or just want to really take in the birds, this trail is for you. So we'll call it the Crooker Place Trail. I've included a, a GPS map as well as some street view uh, post of the intersections. I'll link the strength, the Street View intersection uh, links when I'm at that spot in the video, as well as down below. So you don't have to stop the video to go to the Street View. So they'll be there uh, if you're trying to figure out where you are, or you can look at the links down below to get those Street Views as well. Kind of a cool trail, a little bit hidden, not very much parking, really only parking for two cars here, but uh, cool back way into the barge wildlife management area. Be sure to subscribe to my other videos and uh, click the like button down below if you like this. This is Josh from Gardening the Right Way. Let's go for a walk. Come on, let's go. Let's go, pups. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
we're gonna go this way. This way goes up through some swampy land, goes to the kind of the parking lot of Burridge Conservation Management Area, but generally inaccessible. When they were doing work through here, that was there was a uh, wood and so forth that allowed us to travel on that, but probably inaccessible now. I'll include a satellite view of where this branch is in the video right about now. So this piece of the trail had power lines in it once upon a time. And they've uh, they've pulled all those up and remanaged that load out to the roads. As you can imagine, out here in the middle of the woods, pretty inaccessible. But there were some um, dedicated wartime power runs coming through the woods here that were uh, important during World War II, but not so much anymore. And of course, hard to manage these power feeds when there's a storm or whatever out in the woods like this. So they've, um, they've reallocated that load out to the roadways and enhanced the lines on the roadways. down around the crossing of the marsh area. That over there, that's kind of the back corner marsh of Burridge Pond, Burridge Wildlife Management Area. But we'll continue along this way. most manageable crossing, but it'll do. We're gonna head off the right here. I'll do a 360 degree uh, Google Maps street view for here, but we're gonna go to the right and I'll also post a photo of the trail um, somewhere in the video along through here, but we're going counterclockwise today. Let's go this way, this way. Pumps. These swales and everything, these were all managed. There was probably a hill here and they dug the soil out of there when they were making the roads and building the cranberry bogs in here. So that's a hill that was cut. That's not glacial. We're basically on an island here, out in the middle of all the bogs and the ponds. Behind me is a dump. Remember, just take it out in the woods and dump it. it used to actually be a thing. I'll post a uh, link to the street view of this intersection and uh, also note it as a waypoint on the map. Uh, we'll go down this trail here. Oh, sorry. We'll go down this trail here, back in towards Hanson and Pembroke. And we'll go that way a little ways and then we'll come back and continue around the loop. But I'll put a link up above for the um, for the street view of where we're at right now. Let's go. Building out here. This trail will take us right through the middle of the pond, back towards 58. Just long straight causeway, right through the middle. If you like watching birds, this is the place to be. So this trail back towards 58 is a little too muddy for the footwear we brought today, but boy, if you like birds, this is a great causeway to be on. All kinds of birds around. Red wing blackbird around here somewhere. Let's see if I get him to sing. And blueberries too, if you like blueberries. Oh, they're everywhere, they're setting up nice. There's that red winged blackbird just in the background. 
try not to disturb him because they're pretty, uh, <laughs> they're very territorial when they get to, when they get to having eggs in their, in their nest. But yeah, look at these, look at these blueberries up here. These are all blueberry flowers. Getting ready to go. It's nice and wet in here. Good and safe. Nice marsh out there. But beyond that marsh out there, um, that's a, a lake as well. So pretty cool space. So we're now continuing counterclockwise. I've come back from the, from the causeway. That heads back towards 58. And continuing around counterclockwise. You hear a lot of gunfire in here. Over here to the right, across the pond, through the trees, across the road, back into the trees. It's the Hanson Rod and Gun Club. Don't worry about what you hear. It's just them. Not under attack. Back in here, there's some mountain laurel. It hasn't even bloomed yet. It's got a little bit of rust on it, but... That's all right. Let's look at this hemlock. Uh, no, that's a cedar. We're gonna turn around and we're gonna go up this trail here, see if we can't get around this water. You know, Mario and Monarch are excited to go that way. Got the wrong shoes for it today. So we made it through. There's a nice trail off to the side. Nice stand of cedars here. Oh, you don't see cedars very much in great quantities or large. This guy here, he's healthy, big and beautiful. More cedars in the swamp there. Perfect, nice boggy spot for cedars. Yep. I love this kind of view on a trail. We're a, we're a ground leveler. Maybe a little bit below ground level. <laughs> but the fact that we can see nothing but sky ahead, at the end of the trail, that means there's water out there. Well, we've got the long lines today, so we can go swimming. We can find a nice clean spot. And we'll see what we find up here. But I know we're coming out in the middle of the pond. So this is the light at the end of that tunnel. We just came from there. But uh, this, this little causeway here should take us into the main barrage area off of the little island that we're on. So we'll head out that way, we'll do a little swimming, then we'll come back and continue on the island. I will drop a... Uh, street view link of the intersection that we're at as well as waypoint we'll put the link yeah we'll put it over there all right see you in a minute Just there you think Not there take a video there though gracious so there's 58 over there by Hansen. Here. So the Hanson tea stop for the commuter rail is right over there by that, uh, roughly by that cell tower you can see off in the distance. Pretty cool to see this is the evolution of a, a lake or a pond into a marsh. It's just over time it's pretty cool how it's evolved. But that's the Hanson tea stop way over What's there. What's cool about this causeway is, is when you're looking at this spot from Burridge, from the main barrage area. I don't know if you can see it over there, let's see. Way over there is the Pine Island that you can see at the edge of the trail, kind of as you're either entering or looping back out. But it looks like you're just looking across a lake that goes all the way to 58, <laughs> and it's not. There's this causeway in the middle. And uh, I'll drop a street view here as well, because it's pretty cool. This spot behind me is always wet. It's effectively where the where this side of the pond washes over to this side of the pond when things get too high. Um, but I'll drop a street view here. But it's just it's just magnificent out here. It's like we're in Maine without being in Maine. Frogs and so many kinds of blueberries. Just so many. Look at this. 
Look at this one here. Just packed. Just packed with flowers. And it's all, all safe to eat out here. So I'll drop a street view for here. Um, and then we'll continue down the end just to mark it on the trail. And then we'll go back and continue on our way. So if we continue along this way, we just came from here. There's the causeway we came across. If we continue along this way, I think this trail brings you out up by the, um, by the um, Audubon house. There's a house up around the corner of Burridge in the back corner. That's from for Audubon, but what a spot. We'll go back to the pond and pause for a minute. We're on as part of the Bay Path Trail. It goes all the way from Duxbury, Plymouth, all the way up to the North Shore, all around. But these trail markers will indicate where you're at on the trail or that you're on the trail. Kind of cool. More blueberries. So we're just gonna stop here for a little bit. I'll let it record for about five minutes. Just take in the sounds. You're resting in a blueberry bush. Take in some of the sounds. I'll let the dog swim as well. So apologize for that sound. Otherwise I'll shut up.
I could take in those sounds all day long, but we've walked to continue, so let's be on our way. Back on the trail again. Oh, it's gonna take us back up into the power lines here. So you can travel through the woods or through the power lines. Well, where the power lines were. Big, beautiful birch right there. Hiding in plain sight. Doesn't look like it because it's got the gray bark, but that's, I believe, gray birch. All these pines. This part of the trail was all power lines, but it was managed within the past two years or so. All these pines have seeded in naturally from their parents up here. So this is two years of forest, just, just coming up through some birch, some pine. But what I want to look at is there's some hemlocks over here. Let's go see. We've talked about adelgid a little bit. Let's see if there's any adelgid over here on these pines. Yep, I can see it from here. So see how this one's darker green? And this one's yellow. Oh man, it's packed. So that's the woolly adelgid. Underneath these little woolly structures are insects that are gonna get in there and both suck the sap out of this hemlock, but also in the process, block up the pathways for food and nutrients to get up through the tree and will eventually kill it. And if you try to apply a a uh, chemical over the top, that woolly structure will prevent the, um, basically pr protect the insect underneath. So there's a little hemlock stand here. There's some hemlocks all up in here. Some fairly good sized teenagers here. No really big hemlocks here, but these guys aren't gonna survive. These little itty bitty bugs here underneath those woolly structures are gonna kill all these hemlocks. All of them in here. In other posts, we've talked about tricky weeds. And look along here, you'd think pine, 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 pine. Just pine everywhere. But in reality, right in the middle of all these pines, big old oak tree. That guy. It's a pin oak. Right in the middle. It's here because the soil is acidic, acidic because of the boggy nature of the area. They're not making it acidy. They're here because it is acidic. So I was wondering where all these hemlocks came from because I didn't see a big, huge hemlock in here anywhere. Then we found it. This guy here that has since expired Right there is a hemlock. It was a two-prong sort of hemlock. But it has this problem here. So it's a two-prong anyhow. So that's destined for failure long-term. But then right in here, there's a split. that goes up through here. There were some other branches as well. But it probably was able to identify that it, it was going to decline. And so it spit out a bunch of, uh, the conditions were right for it to bruise it, a bunch of hemlock pine cones. And then they came all down here and spit the cones out. I'll do a different video about how pine cones and hemlock cones spit the seeds out, but that's pretty cool too. But that one tree right there, probably the parent of all these hemlocks in the woods here. There's no other large hemlock in the area. So that's it. It's the granddad of them all. Well, I thought I had more video of the exit of this walk, but we just doubled back towards the parking spaces. There's really only two of them. Here's the map of the walk, and here are the coordinates. It's a great little walk, a little bit quieter, a little bit less populated than Burridge. Only about two parking spaces at the beginning of this trail. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe for fresh content every Sunday morning at 5 a.m., and if you like this video, I'd appreciate you pressing the like button down below. Thanks for watching.